Hey guys, so I was trying something and I wanted to see if I could do it. So I have a switch machine and I'm using the magic mat. My main, so my sandwich I'm gonna use is just the main plate, which if you notice it says Big Shot Plus Platform. That's what the switch is, it's just electronic. It's a big shot. So anyway, then I'm using this magic mat, the little embossing thingy. You put it down, right? And you get your cardstock. And if you notice, I did one side. I tested it first. And then I'm gonna lay it down here. I'm gonna lay my plate on here. Taping it down. Then I'm going to use this. The top plate. And I'm going to run it through. It does a pretty good job. off and voila we have an embossed it side now all I gotta do is get my chomper dumper and cut the two of those apart and I have two embossed Duma flotchies um <laughs> card mats let's put it right up to the four and a quarter Slice those two, and now I have two of these. And now I can ink blend them, do whatever I want with them. And because I want my clouds to stay white, I have some other little clouds over here that I had cut out making something else, and I'll show you that in a minute. So this is another card I'm working on. We have to make some balloons because I need more balloons, but this is the little card we're working on. We're stuff we're working with and this is a close to my heart stamp set how cute is that isn't that adorable so that's what we're working on so anyway i have the clouds that are from this so i'm going to use them as stencils i'm trying to think what i'm going to use to put them down though with it's not really going to work. Hmm. That's not going to work because I don't have anything that I can put them down on the clouds themselves with. So we're just going to take... I'll just use what blue I have left on here for the sky. We'll just come in and do our edges. I would like to keep my clouds white, but I don't see that happening. Is this the one for that? I don't think. Oh, come on. No, that's not the cloud. No, that's not it either. It's got to be this other. Come on, fingers work. Oh, there we go. I'll just hold it. That's all while I go around it. Everybody's working for the weekend. Yeah. That song was on a short I was watching. Uh-uh. Come on. Stay put. Stay put. So I can get in here.
That's cool, but that's going to take a lot of work to do. So I am really not going to um, read too much here. I need some kind of double-sided tape I can put down that will not... My clouds are going to become blue. That's just all there's to it. My clouds are going to become blue. I'm just, I'm not fighting with all that. Now, in the, if you get the bundle pack, I don't even know if this is available still. This, I, this, I got this like over a year ago. It was gifted to me need a smaller brush to get in between there that's what it is some of them will be have blue some of them won't and boy I got a lot of ink in my brush here because I have not dabbed any ink on this brush There we go. I think that's cute. So we have embossed it. It's embossed, so you see the stitching and all that. And let's make some balloons. I need to make balloons to go with my little guys that I've colored over here. I have these little guys. I have this little fox. And I have the little hedgehog. And I had a video of me coloring all these. And Linda accidentally deleted it. I got a little birdie. And a little bunny. I got the mouse and the bird on the other one. But I need a balloon. I need balloons. Balloons. I'm going to take this it's Daisy White cardstock from close to my heart that I'm using right now. And I'm going to get the balloon dye. And instead of stamping it, I'm just going to cut it. It's well, no, I need to stamp it because it needs to have the. All right. I have my whole stamp set in here taped in. I'm going to die cut it first. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, 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 no. I'm going to stamp it first. And I just want the balloon. Maybe the mouse, too. Maybe I want the mouse again, too, because he's just so cute. baby up. And I'm just going to ink up these little guys here that I'm using. I'm not worried about anything else because I'm not using those. I just want the mouse and the balloon. isn't all the way done and he fell well it'll be all right he'll be all right i really just want the balloon let me get something i can actually put down i need a balloon so i need balloons balloons i keep saying that stop saying that Linda. repeating yourself oh we'll get a fox out of it too we'll get a lot more out of it if i just take them off of this, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I want to leave that on there. I 
Okay, brain. Alright, I want my mouse. Balloon. Fox. There we go. That's better. over there. I think we're going to do the bunny next. He's got a pink belly. I think I'm going to put this pink balloon with him because I think it'll go better. So my mouse needs a different color balloon. The base color of that is blue. Do I want to do a blue balloon? I don't think I do. How about we add a yellow balloon? How about we do yellow? Okay, that says bumblebee yellow. My vision is horrible, guys. It's getting worse and worse. And Tuscan sun. And I can't remember which one is darker. So, where's my scrap that I wiping colors on. Mm, they look the same, but I think Tuscan Sun is a little darker. Alright, so I'm just gonna come in here and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna color guys. If I get this technique done right, then I will be a happy camper. Now because I'm using a bullet tip, the flicking process just isn't really all that possible. Sun, which, like I said, is darker. Let's 
sort of kind of trying to blend them together here. Nice bright yellow bloom. But not like highlighter bright. We're going to go with cardinal blue. It needs to be the same color. Alright, and then we're going to get our... What did you do with it, Linda? Please tell me I did not throw it in the bag with all the other markers. I bet I did. I bet I accidentally picked it up and threw it in here. I think my fog gray is about out of ink. That's why I'm kind of relying on this. Hmm. I did. There it is. Alright. I'm going to take this cloudy gray, which is kind of dark. It's not really that dark, huh? It's not as dark as I thought it would be. Alright. Just kind of give him some shadow here. Because he's under the balloon, so he's going to have a little bit of shadowing. Then I'm going to come in with this N0. In this fog gray, if they're still working, just to blend it and lighten it. Just to push that gray back a little.
can't really tell if it's even doing anything. No, it's not. I'm just sitting here playing around with nothing. All right, where's... He's good enough, guys. He's good enough. Mm, no, he's not. I want to work that color out more. this balloon and we're going to color it we're not going to make it yellow though we made the other one yellow we got a yellow we got a blue no we got a yellow we got a pink what color do we want the hedgehog to hold so we get a pink for him we got a yellow for the little mouse, and now I gotta decide which mouse I'm gonna use. So yellow for the mouse, pink for him, the hedgehog has a pink flower. I don't wanna do another pink balloon. It's a fox, let's give him Give him a purple balloon. I have another violet over around here somewhere. Come on, fingers, cooperate with me. Right out of the lines. Nice dark purple balloon. <laughs> and yes, I mix brands. They're alcohol markers. Alcohol markers. It's... with the colorless blender because I am totally messing this up today.
I need to find my other, I have a lighter. It was right here. And to start putting everything back where it belongs. It was right here. Where did it go? Because I picked it up yesterday to, and I was like, no, that's not the one I'm looking for. It was. Hmm. Right in front of my face and I can't see it. My balloon not looking as good as my other balloon. Starting to bleed outside too. I think it's good enough. Where's my blender? I want to go around the edge with that. Oh. And it's called a blender, but it's more like an eraser. stay like that that's all and now let's die cut these guys
right, I have to put, to die cut, I have to take the embossing mat off, and I have to put my regular shim back on, my adapter plate. Adapter plate A has to go back on. This has to go into the thing. I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for this switch, I wouldn't be able to sit here and do all this die cutting. Because my hands and stuff, it would just be too painful. It would not be enjoyable. Because of the switch, it's so enjoyable. I'm able to do it now. The more you use this washi tape, I swear the stickier it becomes instead of the less sticky. Look at that. All right. Who, I think we were given our fox. Oh look, I did cut the string right. Wrong, that's okay. So we got our fox. We need one for, Hey, where'd our other mouse go? Where'd our mice go? I'm missing a mouse. I guess I'm gonna have to die cut this mouse out because I'm missing the other mouse. I must have picked it up and flung it. I'm missing my original mouse I colored. I need another balloon, guys. My birdie needed a balloon. He needed a balloon. Unless I cut the string off of him. But I don't want to do that. So he needs another balloon. We need another balloon. Oh, no. All right, let's get our mouse. Here's our, here's our mouse. Mouse. Let's die cut that. Come with me. what this is like. It's like just being in a world of pure imagination, you know? Please don't mess with my mouse. There we go. Alright, now we got a mouse. Again. Oh, I found my other mouse. <laughs> We can make him hold on to the other guy's tail. That's what we, we could do. We could have the two mice, one holding on to one's tail. All right. It's just a party up in here, y'all. This would be a really cute slim line. I need another balloon. I need another balloon. If 
for daddy. For the bird, for the bird, for the bird, for the bird, the bird, the bird, 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 bird is the word, bird, 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 bird is the word, bird, bird, bird. All right, is that gonna be good enough? Yeah. We have a blank balloon. see what I'm doing. So I'm lining this up in here just like that, right? And I'm gonna line it down like that. And I'm gonna hope that that's right. A magnet on it and see. Nope. The curve is going the wrong way. I had it upside down. <laughs> it ain't gonna work anyway, because you know why? Because I got all these other little people on here, so I have to take it, my whole set off double-sided tape. Okay, and I gotta pull my balloon off. And set my balloon right in there. Pencil eraser so the thing doesn't stick to my fingers so I can get it just right. There we go. Make sure my magnets are on this good enough to hold it. Double set of tape off. Yeah, I don't want it sticking to the stamp. So all I gotta do is roll it off. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Get the double sided tape a going. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Craft on. <laughs> Not worried about it anywhere else at the moment. I will get it off later. As it just rolls off, it's just a matter of my fingers working with me. It just rolls right off. Just like that, rolls up into a little ball, and it's gone. 
I just got this other, but it's not on my stamp, so I'm not worried about it. Well, that didn't pick up my stamp, did it? No. Let's try that again. I learned this trick from May May. May May made it. Let's try and get this lined up just right. There we go. There we go. There we go. We got it, guys. We got it. And we lose stuff every day right in front of our face. Here it is. Let's just ink up this balloon. But wait. Wait, there's more. You have to put this balloon in there to stamp on. <laughs> Daniel West I, is the one who taught me this trick. Dale and Artie, you should check out his channel. I love that he's faith-based. Just like with May May, they're faith-based. I love that. There we go. Now we got our balloon stamped and ready to roll. We have purple, we have yellow, we don't have blue, we don't have, oh, my bird is blue, I don't want a blue balloon, I guess I should do one anyway. The mouse is going to have the yellow, so let's look at it like this, okay, I've got my mouse, right? And he's going to have the yellow. Then I've got my bird. Maybe my bird should have the pink. It's going to get cut off. Unless I lower these guys. Um, maybe I'll do green. green. Yellow and blue make green. It should tie in together, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. We're going to mix lime green and pale green together and see what we get. <laughs> Alright, I'm pretty sure that the pale is darker than the lime. has pale. That doesn't look very dark. And then here's lime. Nope. The lime is darker, guys. The lime is darker. So, we're going to color our balloon with the lime green. I am not a green person. I know some of my friends love green. Green's not my favorite. I don't know why it doesn't make me... I think it's just certain shades of green I don't like. I like that color for green.
mark on my paper there. For me, I found if I go a little small circles without lifting my nib up off of the paper, I get more of what I'm wanting. A smoother look, you know what I mean? That's a pretty green. Definitely a pretty green. Did I do it again? Did it again. I lost my N zero again. Huh. Alright, that's gonna have to be good enough. Alright. I want to touch these up also with something. I guess this is the one I'm going to have to use. It doesn't show up really good because I need the... It just doesn't show up as good as the one point or the point one. This one is a five and I need the one. The one shows up better. So I've got the 
uniball signal. I'm just gonna put a little Okay, 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 okay. Let's put, let's finish this card right here. Hey, what did we do with our blended background? Okay, there it is. Right. So, let's get some pop dots for some or foam tape or whatever you want to call it stuff. We decided we're going to give the birdie a green balloon. So we're just going to pop the blur there. And we're going to do that there. Just like that. And then we're going to do the yellow. And the mouse. The mousey mouse. The little mousey mouse. The little cute mouse. Okay. We're also gonna pop. We might as well pop. Pop 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 And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put a little bit of blue right there and just glue that together. And then we got our floating by to say hi. And there's our first card that took me a while longer than what you guys saw me make to make it. But I'll stamp happy birthday or whatever occasion I send it for. Isn't that adorable, though? See the dimension? Oh, it needs gems. 
It needs some little bling in it. There's nothing shiny. What do I got in here that I can use? Let's see. Mm. Here we go. These will work. These will work. Usually, they say to put them in a triangle pattern, but Linda doesn't do triangles well. So, I'm just going to put one here, one here, one here, and here. Maybe. Let's see. I need another one because there's I need a fifth one. There we go. And depending on which way you're looking at them, they have like a bluish or greenish shimmer to them. I still feel like it needs something. Like something's missing. But, alright. So we got that one done. Let's set that aside. And let's bring in this one. Let's see who and what we're putting on this one. All right, we have our bunny with her pink, little pink balloon. And then we have our fox with his little purple balloon or her little purple balloon, his, hers, whatever. And then, we're going to come along here, and we're going to go, ah, make a mess, make a mess, make a mess. And I'm doing it this way because I am no good at cutting straight lines. So.
So let's pop that those babies down too. Two on the bunny, one on the sentiment, the balloon, we'll get the balloon one, and we'll get the fox two. Three. I think we can do three on the fox. There we go. So let's do the balloon first. I always gotta remember stay in camera doing things and just stay in camera. And then we can move that sentiment. A little bunny. And then let's celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate. Dance to the music. Celebrate, celebrate. La 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 la. Let's give us a card base. This is one of those pre scored card bases from Close to My Heart that I'm adding it to. It came in a kit. And then we're just going to glue that baby on here. Just like that. So, glue solution, guys. Glue situation. I watered a bunch of my glue down. I'm hoping it doesn't interfere with how it holds. It seems to be holding okay. This is the non-watered one that I found a little bit extra. But then I have this one here that's watered down. And I have this one that's watered down. And the reason I put that on is to remind me that it's not Barely Art Glue anymore because it's watered down Barely Art Glue in there. <laughs> Mixed with watered down Art Glitter Glue. So, yeah. So that is my glue situation. My glues are watered down. This one's not. Because it's a card mat, it should fit perfectly. Because yeah, I used a cover plate to cover the whole thing. So there we go, guys. Uh oh. Uh oh. We need to put some of them on here, too. I don't want those colors. I don't want those colors. They're just not... They're more with like the one we did prior, the blues and the greens. These are a little more feminine. So. Put one 
here, here, and here, and then we'll see what we got. There. And I'm not worried about my blue mess because. It'll dry clear. I'm gonna do what I want you to do. Thank you. I want you that way. There we go. And actually, I don't like that one on there. I want it to be more like the shiny ones, not white. Come on, get off there. Oh, I don't need more blue. What are you trying to do, Linda? Put the silver one there. There we go. I like that better. So there we go. We now have our cards finished. So there we go. We have that one. And we have that one. Just regular die cut out and this one was embossed with the cover plate alrighty y'all have a great day hope you enjoyed that so long farewell